The high-speed rail initiative is expected to be the largest transportation infrastructure project in Canada. Canada's first high-speed railway will span approximately 1,000 kilometers from Toronto to Montreal and Quebec City. Reaching speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour, this would cut travel times in half and connect close to half of Canada's population. Building Canada's first high-speed rail network will require more than 4,000 kilometers of steel rails in addition to massive quantities of structural beams, catenaries, and other core materials. Construction will create at least 50,000 jobs, and the line will generate nearly $25 billion in new economic activity each year, which is roughly equivalent to 1% of the national economy. Having an electric passenger train network might sound out of question because of the distances and electrification costs. But apart from the environmental benefits, there are two main advantages why Canada should consider to do this investment. This project will directly benefit Eastern Canada, a region with a population of 18 million, including more than 700,000 students, which accounts for 40% of the country's GDP and is a major tourist destination. Proponents have been talking about high-speed rail for decades as a tool for economic development and reducing emissions. Canada is the world's second-largest country in land area, but 60% of its 41 million people live in Ontario and Quebec. On February 19, 2025, the government announced a high-speed rail project in the Toronto-Quebec City corridor with speeds up to 300 km per hour. The name of this service will be Alto. The high-speed, High-frequency rail line will reportedly reduce travel time between Montreal and Toronto from nearly six hours by car. There are no specifics about the date of completion or the segments that will be built first. The planning phase is expected to take about five years. Construction on the early segments could be completed by the mid-2030s. By upgrading existing freight tracks, creating right-of-ways and build missing connections from Sarnia to Quebec, most cities in Ontario and Quebec could have direct TGV trains to Montreal, Toronto, and the capital. With this new network, Canada will be able to count on a sustainable infrastructure to support the prosperity of its economy. Reliable, fast, and frequent, the trains of the Alto network will link the main cities. But while Canada has an extensive rail network, it's also the only G7 country without a high speed option. In Japan, China, France, Spain, Italy, and the United States, trains that can reach speeds of over 450 km an hour. Discussion of a bullet train between Calgary and Edmonton has bubbled up periodically in Alberta since 2011. That line as well as commuter rails for both cities form part of the government's goal of a province-wide passenger rail network. The high-speed system will transform our economy, drastically shortening commute times for millions of Canadians, turbocharging economic growth, creating thousands of good-paying jobs, improving productivity. The government invests $2. 83 billion U.S. dollars to fund planning over the next six years. Trains hit speeds of 300 kilometers per hour, slashing Toronto-Montreal trips to three hours. The project, dubbed Alto, would see fully electric trains transport passengers along the highly trafficked rail corridor at speeds of 300 kilometers per hour along 1,000 kilometers of track. The new infrastructure will link Toronto to Quebec City in just three hours instead of the current five and a half. This project is a major breakthrough in sustainable mobility and will help reduce environment pollution.